medical shortage in nursing faculty. It's a concern for Missouri State University and colleges nationwide. MSU will use newly awarded grant money to tackle the problem. Lauren Schwinker is live with the way this could put more nurses in our hospitals. Lauren. Yeah, Paul, the director of the Missouri State Nursing Program tells me that she's hoping that this grant money helps bring in more faculty support. So that's through scholarships and accelerated programs to help tackle the concern. The reason they're offering so much money is we know where we're at. We're kind of crisis. We're not, you know, you don't want to say that, but it's kind of like, who's going to educate? A need for nursing faculty is a growing concern that's hitting Missouri State University and colleges nationwide. The Missouri State Board of Nursing report shows 64 full-time staff members are needed to meet the demand of students who want to become nurses. Since 2020, the undergraduate nursing program has denied admission to 286 eligible applicants. That's, that's a huge amount. Dr. Katherine Patterson, the director of MSU's nursing program, says she's doing everything she can to fix this, starting with the state grant. What I want is to make a program that was accelerated so that if a working nurse wants to come in who has her bachelor's, his or her bachelor's degree, they could get through it in a shortened period of time have that master's degree, and then we would give them the essentials that were needed through this program. Patterson says she wants to use the money for more faculty resources, like offering scholarships for people who commit to teach in a Missouri School of Nursing for at least three years and more. It'll give a gateway or an avenue for current working nurses if they want to expand their education. Part of the grant funding was for two faculty positions, so I need two master's prepared faculty <laughs> to run the program. Local leaders are also weighing in on the issue. It's probably been a mounting concern that was the, that, um, that has just continued to grow. Mercy's Chief Nursing Officer Marie Moore says they're working with local universities to find out how to make flexible master programs for current employees. We're going to have to be very flexible and creative um, with our resources and really um, identify how we can work together to support the future workforce 